ransomware. One senior official telling Fox the election systems are at high risk. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris tells us what she's hearing tonight. That's the big target, is the 2020 election. Homeland Security cyber official Christopher Krebs' warning is now going a step further with the launch of a new program to block ransomware attacks on voter registration databases. The scenario would be someone registers to vote, but this ransomware or other malicious code removes their name from the voting polls, from the registration list. They go into the poll and they can't vote. Over the last decade, ransomware attacks where hackers locked down computer networks for money have hit multiple states, with the damage causing a ripple effect. In Baltimore, three months after a ransomware attack, the city is still struggling to issue water bills. Earlier this month in Texas, nearly two dozen local government networks were hit, forcing officials to manually process basic paperwork, throwing them back into the digital dark ages. And in Georgia, hospitals, state and local courts, as well as police departments, were forced to dump or reconfigure laptops and iPads. Homeland Security says the department is, quote, raising awareness of the risks and providing targeted cybersecurity services to protect voter registration databases to stay one step ahead and ensure the 2020 elections are secure and resilient. It's getting harder to stop. At a minimum, you have to have a good operating system that's totally up to date and patched. All of your applications need to be up to date and patched. Your networks need to be monitored and uh, extra protection there. During recent congressional testimony, a federal election official said perfect security is impossible, so their goal is a good offense. They are already testing and certifying voting machines that will be secure for 2020, Brett. Captain, thank you. Up next, why some senior Virginia...